brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. What began with complaints to the Office for Civil Rights at the United States Department of Education has led to a multi-state settlement with entities including the Guam Department of Education. The complaints were relative to website accessibility for persons with disabilities. It's, Superintendent uh, John Fernandez. So somebody obviously tried to utilize the website and didn't find that it was very accessible for uh, individual disabilities, but then I look at it as a real opportunity to focus in on this issue and, and, and address the issue. OCR investigators found that GDOE's website was missing alt tags, which describe images to blind and low vision users who use specialized software. Some important content on the website was also only accessible through the use of a mouse, which made it inaccessible to users who are blind, have low vision, or fine motor control disabilities. As part of the settlement, GDOE has voluntarily agreed to complete several actions in the next 18 months. We need to uh, work with an auditor who uh, has the ability to advise us on what needs to be improved on the website and then develop a plan to, uh, to address those. DOE must also make new website content accessible, post notices online describing how users with disabilities can request access to online information and provide website accessibility training to appropriate personnel. And we've set our goal on trying to do this by the end of the calendar year. Fernandez emphasized that due to a limited budget, GDOE spends zero dollars on website maintenance and instead relies on employee volunteers. Maybe this will you know, raise some issues with regard to having someone dedicated to uh, you know, updating content and making sure that um, it meets all the requirements that are out there. I think if you look across the government of Guam, you're going to find the same issue with other websites. But if we can be a leader in that, in that area, if we can tackle this, and then hopefully that'll, we can be a model for other agencies, then it's better for, for all of our citizens. He said DOE is also working to ensure Guam's campuses are equally accessible. The issue with facilities is that you know, facilities were built at different times. And so um, the requirements that were in place at the time that they were built will often be grandfathered in over time. One recent accomplishment is the installation of a new elevator at Tizen High School. However, Fernandez recognized that more resources are needed to upgrade other facilities in the future. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Misa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.